Good morning children, welcome to Sister Standard Biology class. In previous class, we have learnt about plant forms and their functions. Today, we are going to discuss about types of habitat. See, first we want to know the meaning for the habitat. What is habitat? Each and every organism needs a place to live and reproduce. Such a devilly place is called a habitat. Listen children, what is habitat? Each and every organism needs a place to live and reproduce. Such a dwelling place is called a habitat. From depth of the oceans and top of the highest mountains. Habitats are the places where animals and the plants live. Yes. Okay, there are two major types of habitats. Habitats. One is aquatic habitat. The second one is terrestrial habitat. Listen, children. First, we want to read about the aquatic habitat. Aquatic means what? Water. The plants which are living in the water are called aquatic plants or water plants. First we have to see about the aquatic hab habitat. The plants which are, how do they adapt in that habitat? We will see now. Aquatic habitat includes Areas that are permanently covered by water. Listen, Salam, listen. What is aquatic habitat? Aquatic habitat includes areas that are permanently covered by water. There are two types of aquatic habitats. namely freshwater habitat and marine water habitat. Okay children, now we have to see about freshwater habitat. Rivers, lakes, ponds, and pools. 
और फ्रेश वाटर हैबिटेट्स वाटर एसिड वाटर लिली एंड लोटस दीज आर सीन इन फ्रेश वाटर हैबिटेट इन दीज प्लांट्स वॉट आर दे वॉट आर आई सी वॉट आर लिली एंड लोटस दीज प्लांट्स रूट्स आर वेरी मच रेडी सी साइज and stem and leaves have air chambers that allow the aquatic plant to float in water Look at this picture, children. It is the freshwater habitat. Can you see some plants in the pond? Yes. It is a water lily, lotus, water iris. They are floating in water because their leaves, leaves and stems have air chambers. That is why they are floating water. Okay. Second one is marine water habitat. What is the meaning for the marine? Marine means sea or oceans. From outer surface of the earth, looks like an oasis. Blue marble. because more than 70 percentage of earth surface is covered by oceans oceans also support the growth of plants marine plants performs about 40 percentage of photosynthesis that occurs on the planet for example marine algae moss grass and sea grass and phytoplankton these are the plants that live in the marine habitat look at this picture children it is the marine water habitat they are living and adapting for this habitat terrestrial habitats are found on land like forest grassland and desert it also includes man made habitat like farms 
towns and cities they can be as big as a continent and as small as an island they make up about 28 percentage of the entire world habitat for example evergreen forest and scrub jungle it is the evergreen forest what is this yes it is the evergreen forest terrestrial habitats classified into three Types. That is forest, seven one is grassland, and third is desert habitat. Now we will see about the forest habitat. Forest is a large area. that are dominated by the trees there are three types of trees they are tropical forest temperate forest and mountain forest annual rainfall ranges here is range here is 25 to 200 cm the next habitat is grassland habitat grassland habitat is an area which are vegetation is dominated by the grasses grasses range from short to tall for example savanna grassland it is the savanna grassland it is the large area and it dominated by the grasses the third one is desert habitat your habitat without much water water is called deserts deserts are the driest place driest place on the earth
Bessels at least cover 25 surface of the earth. Bessels get less than 20 cm rainfall annually. It is the desert habitat. What is this? It is the desert habitat. Plants like agave, aloe, bryopylum, and cactus. These plants are live in this desert habitat. Okay, the, our next topic is plant adaptations and modifications. First, what is adaptation? Adaptations are the special features. Adaptations are the special features in plants which help them to survive in the habitat. What is adaptations? Adaptations are the special features in plants which help them to survive in that habitat. They live over a long period. In this habitat, plants have a specific environment. which have developed special features help them to grow and live in that particular habitat. Let us study about some adaptations like tendrils, tibiners, and thorns. These type of adaptations seen in terrestrial and desert habitat. First we have to see the tendrils. First we will see the tendrils. Tendril is a tibining climbing organ of some weak stemmed plants. Like peace and a bitter god.
central coils round and a support which help the plant to climb up. For example, sweet peas. Latiris. Latiris is the botanical name for sweet peas. In this plant, the leaflets are modified into tendrils. See this and children, in this plant, leaflets are modified into tendrils. It is the latirus plant. What is this? Latirus because they have soft and weak stems. That is why they cannot stand straight. Next example is bitter gum. Axillary buds are modified into tendrils. which help the plant to climb. In bitter bud plant, axillary buds are modified into tendrils, which help the plant to climb. In sweet peas, the leaflets are modified into tendrils. Some plants have weak stems. They cannot stand straight on their own. For example, Clitoria. It is the clitoria plant. It also has weak stems. So they must need support to climb up. The third one is thorns. Leaves of some plants. The third type is thorns. Leaves are some plants. Leaves are some plants become partially modified. and it becomes sharp pointed structures. Called thorns or spines. Listen children, what are thorns? Leaves of some plants become partially modified and become sharp pointed structures are called thorns or spines. Okay, for example, Again, and open here. Bohain Villa. It is the agave plant. Mostly we can see this plant in the desert. In these plants, 
leaf apex and the margins are modified into thorns. What is this? It is the agave plant. Mostly we can see in this desert, leaf apex and margins are modified into thorns. The second one is Opensia. Leaves, leaves are modified into thorns. It is the Opensia plant. It also we can see in the desert. See here, the leaves are modified into thorns or spines. Okay. The third one is Bohenvilla. The stem has sharp thorns. Listen children, these three types of plants using their special adaptations to escape from their enemies. Okay. Listen children, I am giving here five questions. After complete that, take your biology class account and copy down without a mistake. Listen, the, see the first question. Mention few desert plants. Cactus, again, bryopylum. See the second question. Define the term habitat. The surroundings where plants live are called their habitat. See the third question. What is tendril? Tendril is a twinning climbing organ of some weak stemmed plants. See the fourth question. Write two major types of habitat. Aquatic habitat and terrestrial habitat. Write a note on grassland habitat. Grassland is an area where the vegetation is dominated by grasses. Grasses range from short to tall. For example, savanna grassland. Okay children, today we have discussed about types of habitat, plant adaptations and modifications. I will meet in the next class. Thank you.